Hello everyone, this video is viewer requested so I want to thank the two viewers um, that were kind enough to ask me to make a video on this subject. Um, this video is going to be my top five oracle card recommendations for absolute beginners. So you might find this video helpful if you have no working knowledge of oracle or tarot decks but you want to get started and you feel driven to explore this avenue of, um, of psychic work and intuitive work but you don't really know where to start, or perhaps you have purchased a deck and it's, you're just not connecting with it and so you're looking for more information and insight on what type of deck would work best for you to start building a relationship with the cards. So what I looked at when I was making these choices were not if they're my favorite because some of these decks are not my favorite to use and I don't use them all the time. Um, what I was looking at is the imagery on the decks um, the symbolism, and also the books that accompany the decks, because I think that it's important to to kind of have a book that's going to be supportive of you opening up to your intuition and your psychic gifts, but also at the same time kind of give you a good support system and a little net beneath you so you feel safe. So you're getting enough information on each of the cards and why the creator has chosen these certain meanings with the cards to help you feel confident, especially when you first start going out and reading for other people. Sometimes it's really nice to have a book to reference. So that being said, um, as to these, that's why I chose these decks. Um, as I'm listing them off for you, they're not in any specific order. So it's not like here's the least to the best of the ones that I really enjoy and think are great for beginners. Um, these are just ones that I've happened to choose um, that I feel would be really good as you're starting to get to know Oracle Systems. So the first deck I'm going to talk about um, is a deck that I have done a review on. Actually, I think four of these I've done a review on. So you can check those out if you want. Um, and it's not necessarily one of my favorite decks, but I think if you're just starting to venture into working with Oracle cards. It's a great introduction and um, very user friendly um, and very positive intention based cards. So you're not going to feel like, you know, there's any gloom and doom in, the, in this deck. And that's the Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards deck by Dorian Virtue. So obviously angels are involved in this deck system if that doesn't work for you. This, this is the backing. Um, it's a 44 card deck and uh, the reason why I chose this is because a lot of things like if, if you're asking certain questions you know you want insight on a certain situation you're going to get cards like truth and integrity um, soulmate divine timing so they're kind of it and Another reason why I think that they're they're great to work with in your beginning is because you do have something right on there that this is celebration. Um, the images are some of them beautiful, some of them not. Um, and again, I talk about that in my review of this deck, but very clear about what the the message is for you. Um, so easy to interpret, very user friendly. Again, here's a manifestation. So quite clear. So if I'm asking a question about work or something like that and I draw this card, then I open up and look at the meaning. Okay, so if I draw a manifestation, you know, and I'm just feeling a little nervous about my own interpretation of it, I can go to the little book. This is the book. It's not my favorite little white book. However, the meanings are clear. So the card, there's a little card meaning. You have manifested new opportunities in abundance. Know that you can experience these gifts right now. Then there's a few paragraphs talking about what the meaning of the card can be. Um, and you can apply that to the feelings that you get as you're looking at the card, um, what you're noticing and what's sticking out to you, and any messages that guides or uh, angels might be giving you. So for that reason, this is definitely on my beginner working with Oracle Cards recommendations. So again, that's the Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue. Pretty much any of her decks um, are great to start out with. 
Um, however, I'm recommending this one because I think that you can get, it's easier to get a more concrete answer than perhaps the Goddess Guidance cards or Ascended Master cards where it is helpful to have a little background and some confidence about finding your own meanings through daily questions and for insight that you're looking into. Um, it's not quite as clearly stated as miracles or something like that as it is with this deck. So the next deck I want to talk about is actually one of the first decks that I purchased for myself um, back when I was starting to work with Oracle decks. Um, and I have a deep respect for this deck, even though I don't use it all the time. This is the Earth Magic deck by Stephen Farmer. Um, if you are following an Earth Earth-based belief system, or if you incorporate honoring the Earth into your current spiritual path, this is a very, very beautiful deck to work with. This is what the back of the cards look like. Um, and so each thing is based on kind of an Earth-based symbology. For instance, desert, vision quest, river, movement, ocean, ebb and flow. So you can see that you're getting some keywords and you're also getting an element or a piece of nature or something to really encourage you. Um, there's one that I, there's also included in this deck cards that are have deeper meanings than just necessarily um, only positive. And I'm not saying that if it's positive, it can't deep, be deep because it's not true. But I, I appreciate like fog, veiled. Um, Hold on, let me just see if I can find, of course, it's not showing up. Um, there's this one in here for Tsunami and talking about, here we go, Tsunami Wake Up Call, kind of like the Tower card in Tarot. So you're getting some real answers to let you know, um, you know, where you are and, uh, and what you need to focus on. Um, and this is one of the first cards I ever drew in this deck, Dragonfly Emergence. And it was just so fitting for the time I was at in my life. So I think this is a very accurate deck. The book that accompanies it is a wonderful, nice, you know, got a, it's a book with some meat in it. Um, and the first, when you look up your meanings, you get, see, for this is for mountain strength. You'll see that there's all this that talks about that element or that aspect of nature. And then you get into kind of the meaning of the card itself and um, he you know he gives you kind of like meditational things that you can do as well with the cards so it's a really great way to get introduced to um, to the to oracle card systems um, and it's very beautifully researched and lovingly made and you can really tell that when you work with the deck so earth magic is a really great deck for beginners again it's giving you some of that confidence because there's a lot of a lot of uh, substance backing the deck up but it's also encouraging you to use your own intuition with the cards. So Earth Magic by Stephen D. Farmer. Oracle cards are beautiful cards for beginners. The next deck I want to talk about is um, the Enchanted Map Oracle deck by Colette Baron reed I have also done a review on this deck. It's one of the first videos that I did on YouTube. Um, and I love this deck and I gift this deck to many of my friends who... Um, who don't, who aren't really comfortable with uh, with exploring oracle and tarot cards for themselves, but would like to begin a journey working with them. So this is what the box looks like. They're Hay House cards, just the same as Virtue and Farmers cards are. This is the book that accompanies it. Again, a nice uh, book with substance to it. Let me show you the cards. This is the backing. Um, this deck does use reversals. Um, now, so that was why a little bit I was not sure if I was going to include this on the list because reversals can seem daunting. However, I want you to remember when you're using this deck, especially if you're beginning, that using reversals is a choice no matter what they say in the book. And if it feels right to you to use reversals, the book has the reversal meanings, which is helpful, but also... I have found for myself that if I am using reversals with a client, it really comes down to the intuitive and psychic hit you get as you're looking at the card. So don't be intimidated by the fact that there are reversals with this deck. 
let me just show you. Um, I love the symbolism and the imagery in these cards, and yet they still stay very simple. Wizard of Awareness. Stormfields. And you can see I have some reversals in this deck, so intention. Let's see, I've shown that one before. Um, cleaning house. So again, you're getting some keywords. The images are really helping you to, to interact with your intuition and explore that muscle that you perhaps haven't been using and haven't been listening to. And then when you come to the deck, uh, the deck, the book, there's a great introduction. And then there's a phrase that accompanies. So like for the Wizard of Awareness, which we looked at, your soul knows best, be still and observe. Then there's the upright meanings and the reversed meanings. And there's, there's usually quite, you know, three, two to three paragraphs for each of those. So really helping you get into the meat of the cards and um, kind of an overall meaning, but really encouraging you to explore your own meanings for each of the cards. This is a 54 card deck. Oh, and I'm sorry, the Oracle Earth Magic is 48 cards. Um, but I just love this deck. I think it really grows with you. The images are just so beautiful and you can really feel, I have always um, felt since I started working with this deck, um, that there are a lot of energies attached to this deck and that they very much are wanting to work with us and encourage us to grow in our intuitive and psychic abilities and in actually listening to our higher self. Okay, so I'm going to make... I'm going to divide this into two videos because I'm kind of going on here, but I don't want to just make this some kind of quick thing. I want to explain why each deck might be a good choice if you're a beginner. So in the second video, I will give you the last two of my five recommendations of Oracle decks for beginners. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.